uh, particularly from the US uh, and from the UK, and we're now branching out into Europe. Our main objective is to try and curate the best ranges of gourmet and premium eating as possible, and to make the buying experience as easy as possible. Um, because with so many ranges, it's often very hard to choose. You don't know, and you're looking at a site, and it becomes quite overwhelming. So we've invented our e-liquid finder, where you can put in the parameters that actually you're interested in. So you can set your VG level, you can set your nicotine level, you can set if you want a certain variety, so fruity or desserts or what have you. And then you can also pick little individual things if you want alcohol free or you want 100% um, uh, organic, etc, etc. So we're trying to make it easy for someone who hasn't tried the juices to at least narrow down the options. And then of course it's all about customer service. We just want to get the product to you in the best condition as quickly as possible. And if there's a problem, we'll try and sort it out as best we can. Okay, and what's your website address? It's uh, www.makeclub.co.uk Marvin, thank you very much. Thank you very thank you much. much. <laughs>I'm here finally uh, with Matt Bradley um, at Vape Jam. It's absolutely manic today. He was here yesterday as well, um, but uh, we finally caught up. Um, Matt has got two new stores in the US now, um, and as you know, you watch Discovery Channel and Team Deadliest Catch. You'd have seen this man uh, very wet, very windy, uh, <laughs> and uh, catching some big ass crabs. Um, hello, Matt. 
How are we doing today, folks? Glad to be a part of this. It's like a piece of vaping history right here. Being here today, I'm told this is the biggest convention you guys have had here in the UK so far. Yeah, we've, we've had Vape Fest in the past, uh, and we'll have Vape Fest again this year. Um, but, uh, Vape Fest is August this year. August, okay. Yeah. Um, but this is the first American style convention that we've had in the UK. Uh, and yesterday, as you know, was, was pretty manic. Uh, what do you feel about today? A lot more people here today. I'm really happy with the turnout. It's pretty neat seeing what the vape industry is like on this side of the world. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is very different, isn't it? Um, how, how we have things set up over here, and especially the, uh, the kind of conventions. You guys in the States do conventions really well. I think we're catching up now. Oh yeah, this will be this will give you an idea of what it's like when we do a convention in the U.S. It's about double the size of this. This is nice and intimate. You can actually make it to every booth, so it's, it's uh, I think it's a good uh, a good happy medium in there for a convention size. So you're you're here supporting Dan with his new his new uh, range of juices. Want to tell us a bit about them? So this one here, we have the uh, this one here is the counterculture line and the Odin Baker White line. Both some fabulous juices, it's a little more high-end, comes with a nice can, uh, really unique flavor profiles. Um, and this one here, meeting all the U.S. standards, diacetyl-free, um, no food dyes, pretty amazing juice, it's an amazing custard bottle. So that's a neat bottle and cool packaging. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, good, good packaging. And uh, are these going to be available over in the UK for many UK vendors? I don't know who all has picked the lineup this week or this weekend. I don't know who all grabbed it. There's definitely been a big response. So I believe you'll be able to find it locally really soon. I mean, a, a lot of us do buy from the States anyway. Yeah. Um, you have to buy big, otherwise it's, it's not really worth it on the shipping. Um, but uh, yeah, some of us do buy some from juice from the UK. Quite a bit to ship me juice over here or just shipping in general? Uh, that would be quite expensive to ship. Um, from the states because of the weight, yeah, yeah. So, um, tell us a bit more about your your journey uh, in, into vaping, because I know obviously when you were on the uh, Northwestern, yeah, um, well, there was a lot as, of smoking going on. Most of you well know I've been a commercial fisherman for 23 years. The last 11 on Deadliest Catch. It's been quite an experience to be a part of the TV show. On an average uh, fishing trip. Buy 30 cartons, 10 carton or 10 packs to uh, a case of cigarettes. Buy 30 cartons like that. I was smoking three to four packs a day, and my wife, and children, and grandchildren were tired of me smoking. So they bought me some basic starter kits and said, "Please at least try this." I had tried patches, I had tried the gum, tried several different options to quit smoking. The electronic cigarette or vaping changed the way I feel about it, and. Uh, Vaping saved my life, you know. I went from uh, smoking three and four packs a day, trying to do harm reduction by getting down to two packs, and there was, there's no harm reduction in there. You need to quit smoking. I believe vaping to be 100% safer than a combustible cigarette. And once I finally made that commitment to just vape, it worked. It absolutely worked for me. I think, as we all know, um, that those of us who have made the change um, we all feel better. We all have much more fun uh, vaping than we ever did with uh, with lit cigarettes. Um, I, mean, I, can, I can vape just about anywhere. My wife lets me vape in the home, in the house. Um, I live in a very wet climate. Going outside, the smoking sucks. To be outside, freeze. I get to use this product in my home. I use it around the kids. I don't, I don't always approve of it, but. You know, it's, it's just nice to be able to sit on the couch and not have to go outside and have a cigarette. I don't feel so connected to the cigarettes anymore. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's also a lot less to carry if you were still on the boats, <laughs> rather, than, <laughs> rather than 30 cartons. Oh, yeah. I last, last trip, I took 45, 15 mils with me and about 15, 30 mils and a couple of 120 mil bottles. I did not want to run out of juice. I brought lots of batteries and about 30 mods with me. I was like, my wife's like, are you taking it all? I said, yeah, I don't know what's gonna work up there. What, you know, what's more water resistant? So I killed a couple of mods. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, what about the temperature? Because it can get quite cold, can't it, at the Bering Sea? Battery life uh, got cut down from the cold. 
I try to keep the device inside, you know, just run in, up my nick level, take a couple of big rips, and go back in on deck. The guys are getting kind of mad at me, fiddly messing around with it, trying to drip some juice. I'll be right there, but it's all right. It, it panned out. At the end of the season, the guys are like, we're really proud of you for quitting smoking. And uh, since I've got two more of the guys to quit smoking, they're part-time papers, but don't smoke cigarettes anymore. Jake Anderson from our boat and Edgar Hansen. I believe the best of my knowledge, Edgar still hasn't had a cigarette all year. So, pretty proud of it's, Yeah, it's rather, rather good if you can then show other people what it's like. Uh, and you know, you might have had the, the, the first all vaping deadliest catch boat. That would be awesome. If I can get Sig Hansen to convert to vaping, we'll really have it made. We'll really have it made. It'd be pretty awesome to have all six of us on the boat vaping and vaping on TV. That would be even cooler. Yeah, uh, and that's what we need. We need to have more exposure of vaping on, on mainstream television uh, and not just specialist stuff like we do. Um, and uh, the different vaping shows, but mainstream footage, more mainstream media attention, but not only the negative, not only the batteries blowing up or uh, you know somebody ingesting e-juice or whatever. We all know what the dangers are of the e-juice, we all keep it safe. Um, accidents will happen, battery accidents will happen, but they say they, they will with laptop batteries or with uh, mobile batteries too. So. And the devices are getting more and more regulated, they're more safety conscious. You know, I will not carry products. I usually test things in our store before I give it to our customers to sell or I get feedback from Phil Basardo, Demetrius. People that are actually big in the industry have their heart into it and care about it, you know. So practicing battery safety, proper care of your e juice, treat it like it's medicine, especially if it's high net or low net or zero net. We don't need our kids picking this up. Uh, be a responsible vapor. It's, it's very, uh, something I practice every day at home. You know, my speech in the store is keep keep your e-juice up on the top shelf. Keep it out of reach of pets, children, please. For the safety of the industry and yourself and your family. Yeah. Wise words there, Matt, I think. Thanks so much for talking to us yes. and uh, good luck with the two new stores. Thank you very much. Yes. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for that clap. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> 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 <laughs>